Jamaica Capricorn. This is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 17th through October the 23rd, 2021. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 23rd, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 23rd, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 23rd, 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn. This is a peek at your partner. So, Capricorn. Your partner has the fool. Your partner has uh, the page of swords. Your partner has... The two of swords, your partner has you, the queen of pentacles, and your partner has the nine of cups. So, Capricorn, your partner has the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something. I want to take a leap of faith. I want to set out on a brand new journey. Or your partner saying someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups and using their intuition concerning something or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Capricorn, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you know, your partner could be physically moving or traveling, going on some type of journey here. However, your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition, searching their emotions concerning, you know, just moving out, moving on and moving away from the relationship because someone took a risk or a chance here. Or your partner saying someone took a risk or a chance and they're thinking about it and maybe they just want to put it behind you guys and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or are they, they're thinking about physically moving here. 
Capricorn. Your partner has the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Capricorn, your partner could tell me that it was some type of immature, premature communication had, or they're investigating something, looking into something, researching something. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. The fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but listen, your partner could tell me that you know they're just having this immature, premature communication about taking a leap of faith and setting out on a brand new journey. Your partner could tell me that they went looking and spying. Maybe they're researching before they take a leap of faith here. Or your partner went looking and spying and they saw that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. Looking before they leap. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the fool for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could be looking into something here. <clears throat> Or speaking on something maybe at a distance. Could involve some type of travel here. However, your partner could tell me that, you know, someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship causing a cycle to close out here. Your partner could also tell me that, you know, I'm thinking about taking a leap of faith towards coming back around again. Putting it behind us and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. But I need to look into something first. I need to look before I leap. Clarify the world. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world. For Capricorn's partner. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that there was a rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument, some type of immature, premature communication over someone taking a risk or a chance here. Your partner could tell me that someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, taking a risk or a chance, causing this cycle to close out. And maybe this is something that was seen here. However... You know, your partner could be in a rush to take a leap here, okay? Maybe to travel or to go on some type of journey, and they're seriously thinking about it. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Capricorn, your partner could tell me that everything has changed here. Your partner could tell me that, you know, it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Your partner can also tell me it's about divine timing here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn's partner. 
Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down. Completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So listen, <clears throat> Capricorn, your partner is saying they're feeling a sense of betrayal here. Everything has changed between you guys. Your partner can say that, yes, there was a rushing in, going off, going hand, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. But your partner could also tell me that someone was out being a player here. This is why a cycle was closing out. Someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. And either, yes, there's an argument with immature, premature communication and the betrayal happened. Or they went looking at spying and they saw that you were out being a player causing them this sense of betrayal here. At any rate, they're thinking about making some type of move, going on some type of journey or, you know, moving out, moving on, moving away. Or can I get over this? Can I put it behind us? Capricorn, your partner has the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner needing to make a decision, but they're in the dark about some things. Some things they just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for them to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of your partner being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Capricorn, your partner can tell me that they're indecisive here or they're blocking Clarify the Two of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Two of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Two of Swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Oh, excuse me. Now, the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So Capricorn, listen. Yes, you guys may not be speaking to one another right now. And your partner may be blocking. However, your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition. They're indecisive and needing to make a decision here. Okay. They could also be keeping a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me because of the mind games and manipulation, the tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe that was going on here, okay, the deception. They're not speaking. They're blocking communication. However, when we're dealing with the Five of Swords, this is spiteful, vengeful energy. And your partner could tell me that I'm indecisive. I'm using my intuition. Should I get some get back? The big payback. James Brown, the big payback. Because mm. of betrayal here. Capricorn, your partner has the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This is you, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. What does Capricorn's partner think of Capricorn? What does Capricorn's partner think of Capricorn? Clarify the queen of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted with then about something. 
So Capricorn, your partner thinks that maybe you're conflicted with them about something. Your partner may think that you're combative, that you guys are having this conflict. So if that's the case, was something immature, premature communication said here? Some type of rushing in, going off, going hand, passion with a heated discussion or argument? Your partner could tell me that they're conflicted with them concerning you. However, you guys could have had some type of disagreement or argument here. Oh boy, you guys may have been going back and forth, tit for tat, tug of war, and this is the reason the block is on here. Some type of betrayal, I don't know something that you said, I don't know what you said. Listen, Capricorn, your partner has the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. And I don't know how they could be getting their wish. Could be feeling smug because they have spiteful, vengeful energy here. However, they could be overindulging because something may have hurt them really bad. And they're trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Hmm. Huh. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So listen, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but your partner could tell me that, yeah, you guys may have the strong twin flame magnetic pull here. Oh, but your partner could also tell me that there's another other lover. And if that's the case, we're having this argument over someone taking a risk or a chance out being a player here. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the page of swords over here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So like I said, it could have been some type of immature, premature communication had here. You guys are twin flames and this is going on here. However, your partner could have went looking and spying and discovered some type of other lover in the picture. Hmm. And I'm almost curious to know whether or not they're feeling spiteful and vengeful, feeling smug with some immature, premature communication of their own, saying that they have another other lover to be in this conflict with you because you betrayed them in some type of way. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with you, Capricorn. Taurus, I'm sorry, just you, Capricorn. This devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So, Capricorn, this is you. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, clarify the devil for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the devil for Capricorn's partner. What does Capricorn's partner think of Capricorn? What does Capricorn's partner think of Capricorn? Clarify the devil for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Capricorn, your partner could tell me that 
you pass your own judgment here, some type of judgment here. I don't know. Maybe they feel like you had bad judgment, took some type of risk here. Your partner could tell me that you're asking for forgiveness and a second chance here. Clarify judgment for Capricorn's partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn's partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn's partner. Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a sentence. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So listen, Capricorn, it seems like whatever that was said or whatever that was seen here, okay, is putting your partner in a place where the trust factor is gone. And I feel like they very well could be feeling smug because you could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance here and they're like, no, 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 no. However, your partner could tell me that their guard is up. They just don't trust. They feel like it's another other lover in the picture. They feel like it's toxic. They feel like things were said. And maybe in the heat of passion in this argument, things were said. But things were also seen here. And I feel like your partner is just trying to numb out here. And they're trying to have their guard up here. And I feel like they're contemplating on making some type of move. Some type of move. And I also feel like they want to rush and make some type of move. But... It has to be about divine timing. It has to be about them getting their finances in order. It's, it's something that took place here that your partner is not over. Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 17th through October the 23rd, 2021. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.